Hi guys, how are you doing? So today I'm going to take a look at the Asus ROG Strix B550A gaming motherboard. Now I've been using it in the Ryzen 9 3900X, the RTX 3060, and it's done a fantastic job. You know, if you're looking for a gaming motherboard, um, it doesn't break the bank, then this is a great choice. You know, it comes in white, um, obviously you can go for the B550F, which is the black version. That does have RGB, whereas this doesn't. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with it, to be perfectly honest. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to be looking at the unboxing, the setup, the installation, the um, BIOS update, and we're going to be overclocking the RAM, undervolting the CPU, looking at Armory Crate. We've got so much to get on with, um, so let's crack on with it, um, because you know I've got to wrap this video up soon. I'll see you in a bit. So if we have a quick look at the packaging, you know, it's uh, it's quite nice. It's what you'd expect at this price point. It's nothing flashy, just functional. On the reverse, it gives us obviously all the information about the uh, motherboard, um, our ports and all of that. And we're gonna have a quick look at that in a moment. Um, one of the good things about this board is it has BIOS flashbacks. So if you've got a fifth generation CPU, then obviously you can use that and not have to worry because you know, some boards you've got to get a third generation chip I'll update it and uh, and with this that negates the uh, the need for that. So let's have a look inside. So once inside we have uh, a lot of uh, bits and pieces. We have our SATA cables and we have four of those. Um, we have two at 90 degrees and the rest um, are just flats. That's some cable ties. Um, some M2 uh, screws and bolts, and then these are M2s just to kind of even things out if they're uh, a bit thin. RGB cable. We have our, uh, our key ring. Manual. Um, we've got our driver CD there, obviously. We don't need that. And a manual, obviously, if you, if you don't know to do or you're not online you can't download it yourself um, I use it mostly just for the front panel cables because I always forget when they go and that's uh, definitely handy some warranty information I think this is a quick start guide a quick start guide and finally we have um, some stickers. So if you're into that, stick away. So if we have a look at the motherboard, obviously we've got our eight pin APX and we've got a supplementary four pin. We've got our fan headers, CPU, RAM, 24 pin, our 3.0 cable. Um, it doesn't have type C, which I'm a little bit disappointed about, but you know, it's just, just the way it is. We have six SATA ports, um, a couple of M2s, obviously PCIs and, and all of that. Um, all pretty standard stuff. The actual look of the board, I really like it. It's, it's what I wanted. I wanted a, a, a white board um, and it kind of delivers. Obviously the, uh, the shroud there is and it's, it's very silver and metallic and it's, uh, it's quite nice. So if I turn our attention to the IO shield, it's integrated. There's a bit of movement. It's not the most secure, but it's not gonna really go anywhere. We've got lots of 3.2 ports, um, type one and type two, uh, uh, 2.0s as well. It does have Type-C on the back, which is nice. So we've got HDMI and DisplayPort if your CPU has got integrated graphics. Um, all of our audio stuff here. So yeah, that's really about it. It's a, it's a nice looking motherboard. It's, um, it's price appropriate, I suppose. And, and obviously what you, what you see is what you get. Um, but this one is uh, gonna do the job. So, uh, so let's get it set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the Ryzen 9 3900X. We've got some Trident C here, and we also have an NVMe. So let's uh, let's crack on.
when it comes to updating the BIOS, you've got a couple of options really. You can use the Easy Flash utility that's found in the BIOS itself, or like we're going to do today, we can use the BIOS flashback functionality, which is going to be a lifesaver if, for instance, you've got a 5000 series CPU and your board only supports 3000. Now, to be honest, out of the box, I think this does support 5000, but we're going to pretend it doesn't. Um, so what you do is you go to the website, um, you download the file that you want, rename it using the program, you then install it onto a USB Type 2 drive, um, put it into the BIOS flashback button, press it down for three seconds, and then basically about five minutes later, it will have updated the BIOS. Now what you do is you power on the machine, um, it will tell you it's updating, um, and then once it's finished doing its business, it will load BIOS, and voila, you've updated your BIOS to the latest version. Well done. So you've updated your BIOS, now you need to overclock your RAM. Now if you don't do anything, leave it default, it's going to be running at 2133, um, and whatever speed RAM you've got, you know, the extra performance can be left on the table. It's not good. Ryzen likes fast RAM, um, so the faster you can get it, the better. Um, 3600 I think is what is recommended at the moment, that's what I'm running. Um, so what you do, you go to the AI Tweaker menu, um, you select DOCP, um, hit F10, and that's it. So the first couple of generations of Ryzen I thought were really good when it came to CPU temperatures, however, the third generation definitely introduced a few headaches into, into my life that I really didn't need. And, and essentially, um, when you're at desktop, you know, the fans would start ramping, you'd look at hardware info, the temperatures would be spiking for absolutely no reason, five, 10 degrees. Um, and then I did some research, found out basically the, uh, the voltage is set too high. Now, uh, the thing I found to remedy that was to set the clock speed to 4.2, um, and then change the voltage to 1.25. That calmed down the system, you know, the fans stopped ramping, the temperatures were under control, I had stability, and you know, and, and basically peace of mind. So if you want to change it, do that, um, otherwise just leave it default, um, it's up to you. So once you've installed Windows, the thing I'd recommend doing next is downloading Armory Crate from the Asus website. Um, it's a fantastic bit of software, Basically, you control your fans, your RGB, um, download drivers, this, that, and the other, and it's really good. If you want more control of your fans, what I'd recommend doing is downloading AI Suite 3. In there, it's got Fan Expert, and um, you control your fans basically like you can do in the BIOS, set a custom fan curve, absolutely fantastic. Um, so go check it out. Guys, I'm just gonna wrap up the video now. Um, for 165 pound, I think the build quality, the aesthetic, and the ease of use is absolutely fantastic. Um, so if you're looking for a B550, um, then I think the A version or even the F are great choices. Um, so go check them out. Um, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.